Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Night Blood Radio. I have not had the time to film anything for quite a while, so I actually have a video gate that's going to be posted right after this. But I thought since I haven't done anything for a while, I would give you just a quick little tour of the shop. I got some new stuff here. Um, you've seen the bench before, of course, but we now have a much better soldering iron in the Weller. I love that iron. It works a lot better than some of the cheap garbage I was using. I still have, of course, the El Cheapo um, desoldering you can see there. But um, I don't have, of course, as you see, a huge pile of parts. I mean, the drawers that you see is pretty much what I have in stock. I have a huge variety. I just don't have a whole lot of one particular thing. I have enough to get me by when I need more, I order more. So, you know, like I said, there's a, I have a lot of parts in stock. I just don't carry huge numbers. So that is what you see there. Um, another new thing there is the switch box that allows me to, uh, leave a radio plugged in and switch the power on and off right there. If I want, you know, a bench radio plugged in and switch the power on and off if I want to. Um, of course, you've seen some of this stuff over here, the frequency counter, the oscilloscope, the uh, uh, um, yeah, the uh, signal generator you've seen, and on to some new stuff. We'll go down. Of course, the tools and stuff down there, you can see a couple of different voltmeters. One is digital, one's... Um, analog. I have an LC meter down there. Various tools. And we have a Rainmaker 4 pill 2879 HG bass amplifier. And I always give Rainmaker huge shout outs. He's an amazing guy. He's a good friend. And he builds awesome amps. This amp, folks, has been absolutely amazing. For a 4 pill HG, I'm telling you right now, on my bird meters you saw up here, I will see a thousand watts all day long out of it and it will do 500 bird so you know, thousand watts peak 500 bird out of a four pill it's a smoking hot amp I love it and it runs cool as a cucumber folks like I said you can't beat it absolutely love it some of you have heard me on this amplifier already and it sounds amazing. Moving up, you will notice that we have now, let me shut these off so you can see it, bird meters. And these are, if you look close, they are actual bird movements. What you see up here is just a couple of blank slugs. Because I do, I will say now, I do not have a whole lot of slugs. All I have is two. I do, do of course, get switched around for what I need, but there's the line section right down there. We got a thousand watt slug um, forward and a 25 watt slug in reverse. So when I'm working on radios I put a blank in to the there we go. I put a blank into the reverse side and I'll move the 25 watt slug over to the this meter which is where the peak kit is of course 1x, 2x, and 5x, but uh, but since those are the only two slugs I got, like I said, I'll put a blank in here and I'll run this one with the 25 watt when I'm doing radios because use what I have for now, no, rinse, no reason to go too overboard. Next, of course, you see the Cobra 29, which is my bench radio for. Uh, testing amps if I'm doing an amp repair or possibly even building because you may have seen the video on that dude right up there Oops. the uh, Nightblood Timberwolf 2-14 that is the very first amp that I built so far it is running absolutely flawless if you haven't seen the video on it go check out the build video on it it's a great little uh, 2-pill 1446 driver I built and I'll let you folks in on just a quick little secret. 
I say driver. But eventually, that is the pre-driver. And that guy down there is the driver. That is what's in the works. Right now, driver and final. But eventually, that will be the driver. And that will be the pre-driver. So, next, we're going to come over here. I'm actually going to release the camera here. Alright. Next, we got the 99V2. This one was also set up and built by Rainmakers Customs. Again, he did amazing work. This is my base radio. As you can see, here is the studio mic and the boom. It is direct injected. You do see, of course, a stock mic hooked up to it. We can use the stock mic. If I unplug the inject, we can. it puts it back. If I unplug the, the audio cable on the back side of the radio, it will go back to stock mic or uh, sideband. But on inject, it's just a key switch. So that works fine for me. I'll eventually probably build a key switch. I just haven't done it yet. This board, now I don't know if anybody's using this particular board, but I love this board. Um, so far it works great, and there again, a lot of you have heard me out there, so you know what that board and this whole setup sounds like. Of course, computer speakers up there, which run only on the bass. The Wilson or the Wilson speaker here is plugged into the Cobra 29. Down on the floor, well, of course you see power cords, drills, some various items back there. But anyway, there's the sub for the computer speakers on the floor. Don't mind my slippers. <laughs> um, switch box, you'll see, and there again, 120 amps back there running through this uh, Skosh capacitor. It all works fine. I do have plans for to put all this into a case. When I originally set this up, and that is part of the reason I have a special idea that I'm going to run with. That's why I use this big Skosh capacitor for my power supply. Because I have an idea for it. Um, but for now, I did set it up like that out in the open with no case. Just to get it up and running and functioning. So that will be in a case eventually once I find the right type of case that I'm looking for. Because like I said, i got a special idea for that. This runs in reverse. So what we're looking at here is Cobra 29, base, bench. So we're actually running this guy backwards. But it works just fine. We'll put that back to the base. But it works just fine. I love it. We'll back here up a little bit. We got a couple of. We got a uh, some customer radios here that are being worked on. 135 is done. We may film a video on that. We may not. I'm not sure. We got a 148 that we're working on, and we also got a President Jackson that we're right in the middle of. So, but anyway, thanks for watching. I got my buddy Pierce back here. We're going to wrap this one up. We'll see everybody later. High Plains Drifter saying peace and chicken grease.